In this video, we'll try to understand the concept of equipotential surface. Basics first, let there be a charge Q and this is the radius or the distance vector at this point, up to this point the distance is R and this is the direction, we'll write it in a vector form. Let there be a test charge Q0 here. The force exerted by this charge on this would be equal to E Q0 where E is the electric field E R rather I should write E R is Q0 E R is the electric field at this point because of this charge suppose this force which is exerted by this electric field moves this charge by distance D R point which you have to note is that this movement is not because of the external force this movement is because of the force exerted by the electric field so the force exerted by electric field moves this charge by distance dr so what is the work done work done would be dw would be the force e r q0 times dr and it is the dot product it is the dot product in case it is in the same direction theta is 0 so it will be simply multiplication by dr but we have to write it as a dot product point which has to be used in this derivation for the equipotential surface is that you, you need to know that when the work is done by a conservative force there are conservative forces and non-conservative forces the force exerted by electric field is a conservative force force exerted by gravity is also a conservative force force by friction is not a conservative force simple definition is that in case of conservative force the work done is independent of the path the work done is independent of the path in case of the conservative forces and the relationship for conservative forces the change in energy du is equal to minus dw the change in energy of the system due to the conservative force is this relationship has to be used it cannot be applied for non-conservative force it is for the conservative force so using this relationship which is a very important relationship and in many derivations we have to use it we also use the relationship when we do the dipole work done in case of uh, dipole uh, torque on the dipole and when we rotate the dipole in the electric field the work done on it so this relationship is used in all those cases anyway it's a very important relationship which should be kept in mind this sign is important so du would be change in energy would be minus e r q 0 dot d r what is d u we know d u is change in potential times the charge so q 0 is the charge and if the change in potential between this place if here it is v r here it is v r dash delta v is the change in potential dv we will write because it's uh, tending to zero so it is q0 times dv is the change in energy due to this displacement because the potential has changed now du is equal to minus er q0 dot dr so combine these two equations you get q0 dv is equal to q0 minus sine of course don't forget to put the minus sign this is important minus sign is there and e r dot d r q0 get cancelled so dv is equal to minus e r dot d r so e r another relationship is minus dv upon d r so when you are moving in this direction the potential change is 
opposite to the sign of the change in the direction so dv is equal to minus er dr so when you are moving in this direction along the electric field there is a potential drop along the electric field there is a potential drop this is one thing second thing is that in case the angle between dr and er is 90 degree if this is the direction if we take suppose let us take let us take a point charge and let these be the lines showing the electric field this is plus q here if we take dr as perpendicular if we take dr like this instead of taking it along we take it as perpendicular so dv will then be zero because er dot dr where dr is at 90 degree dv is zero so there is no change in potential when you move perpendicular to the direction of electric field so this is the equipotential and how it we will draw if you take more such rays you will have to draw small small such thing so this is nothing but a curve circle circumference of the circle will be the equipotential surface because all this would make angles 90 degree with the electric field so there is no change in potential which is happening in this case this is the equipotential surface if we take the parallel rays if we take electric field like this then the equipotential surface would be the plane which is perpendicular to the electric field lines so this is the concept of equipotential surface and it comes from this derivation so that is all on the equipotential surface thank you